Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tabor Talk. I'm your host, Michael Tabor. So getting right into this, you know, I am not on Foxbook. Uh, excuse me, let me repeat that. I am not on Facebook that much. You see how that that works, the unconscious mind? I'm going to show a video from Fox, and I'm combining Fox and Facebook, and I misspoke. Okay, so anyway, I'm not really on Facebook that much. I post my YouTube videos. I just put the link there, and that's that. But I occasionally peruse, and there are still these stupid, ignorant, amoral, Trump-supporting deplorables. I'm like, you know, I it, it used to bother me. I mean, I used to engage them because I got a kick out of it, you know, and then it's like, it's so tiresome. It's so boring. I mean, if you still support this dirtbag in the White House, then you're a moron. You're a moron, you're stupid, or you have no morals whatsoever. So I'm in the process of cleaning up my Facebook page. Um, you know, I like different different viewpoints and different perspectives. I like that. I think that's fun. But, you know, if you're still like Trump is great or how about this Trump is God, yeah, like, uh, uh, enough. You're, you're a silly person. All right. I'm going to get right into this. This is great. Trump attacks Fox News. All right. OK, the polling. I'll, I'll say no more. And I'll comment afterwards. Ready? Impeaching Donald Trump, but also then removing him from office. Cool. And uh, Donald Trump received that new poll from Fox uh, with all of the grace that you would expect. <laughs> he, uh, he took the poll and then he took Fox News and he took him behind a woodshed. And, uh, well, you know where that goes. So, look, he tweeted about them. He's not a fan of them. But this time, him casting them aside in favor of another right-wing network was as direct as I've ever seen it. So let's talk about a couple of his tweets. He says, from the day I announced I was running for president, I have never had a good Fox News poll. Whoever their pollster is, they suck. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It's so yeah, we gotta stop stupid. right there. Hold on, we'll get to the rest of it. President but, United States. Uh, first of all, uh, it's it's so telling in, in, in so many different ways. First, you've never had any good poll. A child. Any yeah. news so organization. Rasmussen. Yeah, except Rasmussen. I was gonna say that. Except Rasmussen, mm. whose polls actually suck. Yeah, they're exactly. Not accurate. But every other polling organization agrees. You are not popular. That's right. So now, why is he so mad at the Fox News poll? Because his it's, it's not just because he's unintelligent. I know that's a go, my go-to right. explanation, and right 99% of the time. Look it's still true. He, he really too, doesn't man. understand what a boy. poll is. With all those cheese But mainly because he dogs. assumes corruption. He, pro mm. he does predictions. So he soda. thinks, why aren't they big reading the poll? Boy. Why is Fox News being so mean to me? Their pollster sucks because he's agreeing with all the other pollsters, when in reality, he sh if he was doing his job right, He'd read the poll so I look good. Yeah. Yeah. If he's saying this pollster is bad and then tweets out Breitbart polls that show him with 97% approval, Please, it's 90. not polling accuracy that he's really concerned about there. Yes. Um, but let's continue with the, the tweet. But Fox News is also much different than it used to be in the good old days with people like Andrew Napolitano, who wanted to be a Supreme Court justice, and I turned him down. He's been terrible ever since. Shep Smith and Donna Brazil, who gave crooked Hillary the debate questions and got fired from CNN, and others. Fox News doesn't deliver for it, us it, anymore. Mean, it is so different than it used to be. Oh, well, I'm president. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it's also, just fucking remind moron. Ourselves that he is president. Well, that's a and he writes moron. things like, their poster sucks. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still president. Yeah. Whoever their pollster is, they suck. So the, like I said, though, really fast, it's, it's very direct. It's get rid of Fox News, and then, well, what should we watch instead? Um, I recommend uh, the, the Dark Crystal prequel series on Netflix. Very good. I've been trying to get uh, Ben to watch it. Um, he has a different idea. He tweeted almost immediately after that one, thank you to OANN, One American News, for your fair coverage and brilliant reporting. It is appreciated by many people trying so hard to find a new, consistent, and powerful voice. See you tonight at the big... You can just watch The Voice. Um, see you tonight at the big rally in Minneapolis. And uh, somebody was watching this exchange and noted it. It is someone who is known for fairness and brilliant reporting. OANN turned their entire front page into Donald, or Donald Trump loves them. It's not only the headline there, but you can also see it's their trending topic. That's, um, that's how most journalists behave. Mm -hmm. Sort of, yeah, when people say that they're... Uh, 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 when a... When, uh, politician when the powerful thank them for their coverage they're always like oh sure let's great let's brag about that let's put that let's make us our uh, that'll be our headline tomorrow morning yep. uh so mm -hmm. i think there are a couple things that are worth mentioning real quick first of all andrew napolitano when i as it was last week and i don't you know again this would be one of the things that you know you could say when mitt romney said something uh, publicly uh regarding the kurds which we'll get to and like lindsey graham 
when Napolitano said that Trump had confessed to a crime at the point where he said he admitted encouraging the Ukrainians to look into Joe Biden and his son, that's a stunning moment. Like, maybe it was because Napolitano tried to get on the heat. Napolitano had told his friends. Politico reported that Napolitano had told friends that he was on the short list back in 2017. Um, and so maybe he's bitter. I don't know. But still having a the most prominent legal analyst at Fox News suggest that the president had just committed a serious crime uh, was a significant moment. Then the story that broke today, reading from the, the New York Times today, is that it turns out that last night, Wednesday night, William Barr met privately with Rupert Murdoch. And yep. given Trump's clear frustration, you know, Trump's, Trump's frustration at Fox News, as we know, because he's tweeted before, did not start this morning. So I imagine what William Barr was saying, hey, we're going through this difficult impeachment uh, inquiry and we desperately need spun coverage in our favor. I mean, I don't think we need to interpret what likely happened there. How do we mend this relationship so that you people get in line? Right, but you know what? Maybe that's a little bit of good news because that meeting happened on Wednesday and Fox News hosts continue unabated. And so maybe Murdoch said, no, we are not going to slant our coverage. Uh, I mean, it's already massively slanted, but we're not going to give you an extra break. Uh, and that's why Trump might be even more furious today. Yeah. Maybe. I, I, my hunch I mean, is he can't restrain himself that today was the day. But it's true. The poll didn't come out today, right? This isn't the, the impeachment poll. It came out yesterday. Yesterday. So, but oh, I mean, he's, okay. so the poll came out yesterday. The meeting was last night, and yet he's tweeting about it today. It would suggest that whatever came out of that meeting... Unless it was just a friendly meeting among friends yeah. and they didn't uh, talk politics. Uh, and um, <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, it didn't yeah. work, that's right. Yeah. So you, you were sort of jokingly saying, like, this is totally what a serious news organization would do. I mean, I think rational people would look at, like, if a news organization is getting praised by a politician, then probably they're not being as critical as that maybe they should be. But it feels like an increasing number of people just view politics as a series of cults of personality around leader figures in politics and Very media. Well said. And um, especially when it comes to people like Donald Trump, I had author Jason Stanley on who literally wrote a book of how fascism works. Mm -hmm. He looks at it entirely through the lens of loyalty, loyalty to the leader. This is very good. And so to this. this is an incredibly effective way to discredit an entire news organization for people who believe that loyalty to Trump is the only thing that matters. It's not like they don't need to win awards. They don't need to break stories. They don't have, need to have a big investigative reporting team. They need to demonstrate the most loyalty and get the literal yeah, thumbs up from Donald Trump for that loyalty. And that's potentially all it takes. And we know that that's what Trump like values more than anything in his organization, what he's valued that. throughout Trump his career. Yeah. Yeah. That's because, like, uh, the same thing for mob bosses. They yep. l value loyalty over competence. And 100%. it's actually a rational thing to do because if they don't have loyalty, they're going to go to prison. That's if right. the bank robber is not as competent, they'll live, right? right? So, and Trump, being a lifelong criminal, values loyalty more than competence. That's, That's right. why he has the most incompetent administration anybody's ever seen. That's right. But they're loyal until he fires them, right. until he throws them under a bus, etc. But two more things about Fox that are important. One is, uh, that poll is damning. So, 51% uh, didn't just say he should be impeached. They said impeached and removed from office. Yes. That means convicted in the Senate. Now, when a majority of the country is there, now, by the way, that also justifies exactly what we've been saying all along. All you do is start impeachment proceedings. Nixon's when Nixon's impeachment proceedings began, only 19% of the country wanted to impeach Nixon. By the end, he had resigned. Yep. So we made the argument as progressives. Nancy Pelosi, for God's sake, Get to it. Yep. Because one, you present the evidence and it's talked about 24-7. Otherwise, it gets buried. Uh, and and two, Trump unravels and makes more mistakes yep. and, and acts in, in, a, in, a, in a way that is more damaging. And that's exactly what happened. And immediately, the polls are already at 51% impeach and remove, even if it's a Fox News poll. Yep. And so, uh, and then, and, and the last part of that is the reason Trump is so mad is because once you burst that bubble, then he's in a world of hurt because his posse watches Fox News. Yep. And if Fox News is maniacally saying that white is black and that the sky is green and not blue and the grass is blue and not green, they will believe it. They will believe it 100%. That's I mean, right. We just the last three years has been a case study in that. Yep. But if half of them are saying, no, oh, the sky is actually blue, they might actually look up and go, oh, wow, it is kind of blue, isn't it? And so if Trump's going to go down, 
that bubble bursting is going to be an that. enormous okay, I'll part. leave it at that. The, the only logical reason for no Republicans. Yeah. He doesn't care. So, I mean, it's so obvious, and I talked about this in my last video yesterday, that, I mean, a con man, like, obvious, and he's not even very good. I mean, I've been following Trump since the 80s, right? My father said, look at this guy, this real estate guy, and I read up on him. And I remember there's a couple of articles in the Star Ledger. I lived in New Jersey, and you know, I have a journalism background, and I'm looking into this guy, and I saw him in interviews. I go, Dad, he sucks, man. He's a fucking con artist. He's not he's not any he's not educated, he's not smart, he's awful. I mean, people are sucked in by this fucking guy. This cult of personality is fucking boring as hell. Boring and stupid and incompetent, uneducated. Like, my father said he went to war, and I go, no, that's not possible. Like, maybe he did. He had the pulse. This guy's uneducated. He's, like, just a street thug. Just listen to the way he talks. It sounds like he's never read a book. Oh, in fact, he's never read a book in his life. Can you imagine that? No successful... If you look at successful people, there's a common thread. Like, how many people do you know who are truly successful? Like, really successful businessmen, like a Peter Thiel, billionaires, Bill Gates... Anyone who's really, truly successful, the common thread is they're voracious readers. They all read. I have never met anyone who's successful who doesn't read. Never. Never, never. And, and you, I could tell, like, within a couple of minutes, like, oh, you're not a reader. And I could run circles around these people. There's just, they're, readers are on, on another level. Like, I don't care how brilliant you are, you don't read. There's no way you have a chance. Okay. Um, on that note, good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Those Trump supporters are despicable. Despicable, stupider, and just as repulsive as the animal in the White House. Okay.